Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. Segments have two main uses, targeting and reporting. So in many instances, it's a good idea to build out segments for the main KPIs of your business. Better yet, you can create a folder like what you see here that has segments dedicated to tracking key metrics. These could be actions such as signing up for email, downloading a specific piece of content, submitting a demo request, or even requesting an appointment with a specialist. All of these can be tracked based on the actions captured on the site defined by your business. For example, here, this segment is looking for anyone that completed the submitted application action at least one time for all time. You may even want to make it one time today if you plan on using it as a goal to track in campaign statistics that's covered in the Goals and Filters video. We use today for a goal if the action is something that people can do multiple times that you would like captured. That way, if they complete an application form today, and then six months from now, they complete the form again, we capture the segment join on both occasions. You can also pass information back into the system if there are actions that occur offline through the user ETL, such as a change in the opportunity status or an application approval. To do this, you navigate to the left-hand rail, hover over Feeds, and click on Feeds Dashboard to get an overall view. By passing those attributes back into Interaction Studio, then you can add them as KPIs and track the impact of personalization campaigns against them. For more information, check out the Knowledge Base to access anything about Interaction Studio, where everything is searchable by keyword. You can also sign up for guided in-depth lessons of core functionality at ecampus.evergage.com. To stay up to date with upcoming videos of new capabilities, make sure to like and subscribe.